you say that again? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> like, you I have did. this weird... No, I just like to always it's make so sure. It's so realistic. Make sure. I feel like I just said that. <laughs> um, all right, so... Did that edible kick in hard? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Was I microdosing today? <laughs> Hopefully not. Fuck. Hopefully not. Yeah, that's... Say some weird shit on the phone <laughs> if that's the case. <laughs> you can get into that. So, listen... A lot of people do that. I told you that there's some real estate coach that runs a... Um, we are recording, just so you know. Oh, yeah. They, they run like a... Um, <laughs> A mushroom where you go and you like do um, a mushroom, like a mad mushroom trip to like what? cure your demons in the Hamptons what? and you like shit and puke for a week. Oh sounds my fun. gosh. Yeah. That so- sounds honestly really scary. Sounds like I wouldn't want to participate in that. <laughs> exactly. I don't know, but uh, anywho. Uh, <laughs> it sounds so like my we're, worst nightmare. Yeah, we're we're going to get, we're going to, now that Brennan's Sip done with this. Sleeving, I think it's done. done. <laughs> okay. Now that Brennan's <laughs> talking about mushrooms. <laughs> 50 seconds into the podcast here. Uh, ben, we haven't started yet. Ben so and, oh, we started, dude. Nick, <laughs> kill it. We're no. on. Uh, ben and Megan, thanks for joining us today on The Word. We appreciate you guys coming all the way up from Plymouth to Boston today. Mm. Um, Thank you for having us. You know, it's our pleasure, even though we invited you last second, with limited <laughs> to no planning. Um, no, it's cool because we had a cancellation. We uh, are loving the fact that you guys came up and brought some cool gear because obviously today's podcast all, it'll be all about video mm. and creating content and before we get into any of that stuff please just introduce who you are and let's hear the backstory like how we got into business because uh, i know similarly you guys side hustled for a little while and i love that for you guys so i just want to hear a little bit about that journey totally so, you, you go, go ahead go okay i'll go first <laughs> make sure you're talking to the mic all right so my name is ben eaton and um so we have a business together me and my wife megan called sojourner media everyone pronounces it wrong sojourn, <laughs> sojourn. is it sojourn. french sojourner media it's like no. oh no, I, don't, yeah. I, don't even think I don't know like what it actually is but we just read <laughs> it i mean we, re- we know what it is we just we don't know like where it came from. yeah it means to travel where's the say etymology where is, don't know the where is etymology of the word <laughs> So it means to um, stay somewhere for a period of yeah, time. Yeah, like a temporary and, stay. And I saw yeah. the word. I'm like, dude, that's pretty unique. That's cool. And we film weddings and we like to travel. So we do travel weddings and we do real estate content. So of course. We, both of them worked out. I was like, okay, that's a good name. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's very weird, by the way, that I think you guys do weddings and real estate videos. Really? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. It's, just, it's, it's two completely different, like, knit niches i fuck i still don't know how to say this is word. another niche? french word we, i have it, no idea if we've talked about this on I the podcast know. at length we sh- i guess sh- i should i should just fucking google it right now <laughs> but i think um, i think you would find different answers online too i feel like is people it just pronounced it's niche i think it's niche, niche as well <laughs> so sure niche hold on hold on Let's while you're there look up the etymology of sojourne <laughs> uh Cabernet. it says i think it's niche the debate yeah. about how you are supposed to pronounce niche, there are two common pronunciation variants, both of which are currently considered, they're both fucking right. Niche or there niche. So it's I like tomato it. and tomato. Yeah. So we're, which one are we going to pick? Niche. All right. Niche. So niche, yeah. back on topic <laughs> here. So I think it's different that you guys have two different niches because one is like such a short, transient, quick turn time, right? like blip on the radar, mm-hmm. like no one cares. They're going to watch my video for two days and forget it existed. And the <laughs> algorithm is going to boot it off the internet. Is that the real estate? Yes. That's okay. not the wedding. Not the wedding. I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> well, some weddings maybe, but the video probably doesn't come back in time for that. Cause those are long-term times, mm-hmm. Brendan, if right. you had a videographer. Did you Brendan? No. <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, just like talk to us about like what came first, why video, how the business start, mm-hmm. talk about the side hustle. And also, Megan still has to introduce herself. Yeah. See, this is why I'm not yeah. allowed to do this. <laughs> okay, Meg, you go, go? and I'll tell do you how, go by Meg? how it all started. Sorry. You can call me Megan. What do you Which prefer? Meg, like? whatever. Yeah, you Everyone calls her Meg because yeah. I call her Meg. Okay. So so yeah. That's why all I right. just took the cue. Yeah. So, Meg, yeah. Yeah. moving yep, forward. I'm Meg. I'm not Margaret, though. Mar- oh. Margaret. Some people, I didn't know some people whose name are Maggie. Margaret. Go by Meg. Meg. Can we call you? I've never heard that. You should start going by Maggie. (laughs) It's really no. I like Meg. Meg. It's really attractive. It it feels very like adult and and authentic. Grown. Yeah. Um. But I'm Megan. I'm Megan Eaton. I'm Ben's wife. We have been working together for like five years now, but like full time, I've been working with Ben for like three years. I would say right. Mm -hmm. And what? Um, And what did you guys both do before? So I kind of did. uh, I just did like 
things. random jobs. Yeah, like I did, I nannied full time for like two years, and then I worked at like Ulta as a makeup artist, and I also freelanced for like weddings. Um, and then mm, I ca- okay. that kind that of makes sense. Yeah, Tracking. that was yep. the end. Yeah, and and then um, I worked at a small business like skincare company, and I did like actually making the products like in in house, and mm-hmm. that was really fun. Um, but that's that was my last like working for someone else job. Um, so, but I did really love like working for myself, like when I was doing makeup. So sure. that was kind of like when I started like working, loving, like not, I don't know. Working for yourself yeah, is just it's like, awesome. it's so, m- it's, and you know, it's funny. We all get into this for like free availability. <laughs> what a joke, dude. We were working till yeah. like nine last night. Yeah, think, yeah. About it, think about it right yeah. now. We're starting a podcast at the end of the workday. Yeah. yeah. And right. like, we're just like, just, a, is, yeah. yeah, it's so weird. Yeah. It's Cause we have free time so we can do something that's like. Flexible. Like, yeah, yeah, Flexible. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like but yesterday, for example, we woke up, we had a call with a bride who was in Australia, 16 wow. hours ahead. Ooh. Are you guys flying there? <laughs> Not there, but Very possibly true. like to Europe. We'll see if Sick. it works out, whatever. But um, she, we had a call at 6 a.m. because we had to work out with her schedule. So, but it was like 6 a.m. Then we went straight into working, like doing our, our stuff that we had to yeah, do for the yeah. whole day. And then we had something else like after work and it was just like, yeah. it was a lot, but it's still, it still makes me really grateful that we can do it because yeah. not yeah. a lot of other people get to do what they love. So yeah, no doubt. Yeah. A lot of people ask us about how we work together as a married couple. Yeah. Cause like people are like, dude, I can never work with my wife, Yeah, <laughs> but it just works out. And, um, yeah, we yeah. bounce each other out really well. Yeah. I'll start from the beginning though for, for me. So I worked as a landscaper. Did you know that? Because your your brother, also yep. named mm-hmm. Seth, yeah. if I recall, yep. Yep. He, has a landscaping company. Exactly. He crushes yep. it. And he's a, Ben's a triplet. By I'm a triplet. triplet. I pay so attention. Oh, wow. Yeah. It, may, <laughs> it may come off as very scatterbrained, but sometimes I listen. <laughs> yeah. So and one, where's where's the third one? He's a youth pastor. Yep. Oh. So he's a youth pastor, then the other one's an entrepreneur. So I watch well, my all, brother. Yeah, all entrepreneurs, just yep. different different like Levels. avenues or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I watch Seth um, take my dad's truck and lawnmower to like a crew of... 10 trucks in like 12 dudes. So uh, I got to watch that process and I'm like, what could I do for like my business? And I used to film like skate videos with my friends all the time. So um, I slowly transitioned from working with my brother, Seth to, to doing like side projects. And my cousin asked me to film his wedding. And he's like, dude, I'll give you 500 bucks. I'm like, $500. Yeah. And we were going to be there anyway. So we were like, of course. Yeah. And Why ben, not? ben actually and asked like, me to man the uh, tripod. And that was my first <laughs> wedding ever. Yeah. I yep. And so, so. We're, so you were more passionate about film and whatnot first. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so yeah. I, she had a camera and yeah. I stole the camera because she stopped <laughs> using it. It was a photo camera yeah. and I used it for this wedding. Oh, man. And, uh, it sounds like it was a bad wedding video. <laughs> Honestly, it, I wouldn't tell you what I the, mean, like, the name I of the I feel like videos. for how long ago it was, it wasn't that bad. No. Yeah. You're like, we were pretty really, good. He was really good at it, like, right away. And, I mean, definitely our videos have come no, a long but way. But it's, like, well, so, so that's what's That's what's funny. If you go look at, like, one of the first few OG videos, yeah. you're like, they're cringeworthy, oh, man. So bad. But in the moment, yeah. you're just like, wow, this oh, is yeah. great content. Everyone oh, yeah. loved it. Yeah. Like, Everyone loved it. Yeah. But... I look back at it now. I'm like, dude, that is so take, bad. Take it off the website. So but it's bad. also so. like the standard wasn't the same back yeah, then. Agreed. Yeah, even like when we had our wedding video made, like, it's great, but it's not yeah. the same as I, I agree, but I think part of that is social media. Yeah. Right. right? And how much now we consume content more vertically, mm-hmm. right, than mm-hmm. this landscape mode. I mean, look at yeah. all the, look at at least three out of the, I don't know what the hell you're doing over there. I'm doing horrible. <laughs> yeah, you are? I'm a true filmer. Yeah, see? Yeah. Like, but, it. you know, the rest of this is vertical because that's yeah. where people are going to yeah. consume this content. Right. Mm-hmm. You right. know, so. The cool thing is you can crop in. Yeah. So that we'll, we'll do that well, later. Well, you, you can. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not with the yeah. iPad, but yeah, no, yeah, that <laughs> the that prehistoric iPad. That thing's no. jank. Yeah, you're giving up our secrets here, you know. It's bad. So we were, t- I was telling him the other day, I have like this, I've been watching YouTube videos about how to set up better studios and. You know, I'm just simply not fun. not looking to spend all that oh. coin, oh, especially because yeah. so someone gaffed our good camera. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you get but, the job done, too. So. Yeah, yeah, true, true. All right, so continue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, I filmed my first wedding, and then from there, I got 10 weddings. So I was get like, out. whoa. This is from like, your cousin's wedding? Yeah. yeah. 10 no, weddings. Shit. I posted it. 10, yeah. 10 weddings. On social? Next, yep, Facebook. Yeah. Facebook. It was all was, Facebook, Facebook back was then. Back, yeah, it was back like, in the day. It was like six years ago. Six years ago. Yeah. And um, so I did that, and then I was like, slowly working away from eating landscaping which was my brother's company and doing my own full-time thing and it was scary but like i hated landscaping more than anything landscaping is hard work it's it's really hard 
Yeah. It's really hard. And it's to like play. super hot out. And yeah. Exactly. yeah. And I'm, I'm not good at it. I'm not the right dude for it. Yeah. So, <laughs> agree. so <laughs> the agree. reason. Me neither. <laughs> so from there, it like kind of snowballed into what it was. But the reason we did real estate was because during 2020, all the weddings got canceled. Yeah. Uh, or like we had um, out of like 40, we had 12, that's so we had 11. Yeah. And so that I think that was the same year you joined. Uh, it was the year after I joined the year after because that was when like it kind of took off. Like everything yeah. grew like crazy <coughs> because that's when real estate came into the picture. Yeah. So I that's had to so basically yeah. pivot. I was like, all right, what do I do? Like, this is not good. Yeah. And we were like, do you actually want to do that? Like, is that something you actually want to so, go into? Because it was so new. And we're like, wait, really? Yeah, so, did, so did someone hit you up and you're like, will you do a real estate video? Or did you hit someone up? And was like, I'll do real estate videos. So this older guy in my community in Plymouth, he asked me to do a real estate video because he's a family friend. Mm -hmm. And like the properties were so bad. <laughs> I hate to say it, but um, they were just really, I'm like, dude, why am I filming this? It was like, like really, really bad though. Like, I'm like. This is kind of scary. So, but I filmed them and I didn't post them anywhere because I'm like, I can't show people this. But they were like pretty good. I'm like, yeah. I could do this fairly You're well. Like, I made this shithole look good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the game, exactly. man. Yeah, that's the game. <laughs> but um, so I did that like in 2019. So like I've yeah. already done like maybe four videos at that time. But I'm like, someone out there has to be making money off this. Like, like Instagram so huge. Facebook was so huge back then too. Hundred percent. And yeah. um, I was like, I bet you I could do this better than most. So because of all the wedding experience, so yeah. I pivoted into that. And a girl from my high school got me connected with someone in Boston, like a a big group in Boston. And then from Sorry. there, yeah. And from there, it was just like you know. It blew up. You know, that's how we found you too. Yeah. 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 So it's funny. funny. We, we had, um, we're cycling between two like haphazard videographers who were, we're doing the the right work, you know, is all we needed, but in, in creating videos so tough, right? Cause sometimes like, especially if you're new at it, like I remember the first few videos I shot, it was so awkward, so <laughs> uncomfortable. Like you don't, you know, so worried right. about what to say. And like, um, so I asked Tass, I tasked Malika, I was like, can you just find us a great real estate videographer? She's like, actually, I know somebody from Instagram. Hey. It was you guys. Oh. Right? So, there it is. Um, so it's kind of funny that it sounds like all of the origin of your business came from social. Oh, yeah. Ironically, yeah. creating video content right. got you all, video this, content. all this video exactly. content yeah. work. I know. Right? It's in all, the right so, industry yeah. at the right time. Isn't that it's funny? all through like, like it's it's we don't do a lot of like marketing or promoting on our own. It's to. all just like word of mouth. Um, like someone like, hey, do you know do you know someone who does this? Or it's through Instagram. They're like, hey, because we always ask people like, how'd you find us? And yeah. they always say Instagram. Yeah. Sometimes Facebook or like sometimes Google, but rarely. Yeah. It's yeah. always Instagram or um, just like word of mouth, which is yeah. super cool. And the cool thing is Megan has a gym page. And she like right. posts fitness stuff. Meg Gaines. Hey, yeah. But she you can call me that if you is, want. <laughs> <laughs> she has like eight thousand followers and she's like throughout like <laughs> high school and like college and all that, she like crushes Instagram. So when we partnered together as husband and wife co business owners, that's when our Instagram started taking off too. And that yeah. was in twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, it didn't take off. No, really. but like, it definitely <laughs> it's, tons of it's, it's harder with a business page because it's just it's just different. But it definitely like my I'm no like pro with Instagram or anything, but I definitely have some things that I, you know, I'm good at. And sounds I'm, like, like you don't suck at it. No, I don't suck <laughs> yeah, at definitely it. Definitely not. I know. I know. There's Thanks better, for the yeah, contribution. Yeah. Thank well, you. you know. But it definitely helped our, We're out of my our Instagram <laughs> grow a bit for yeah. sure. And like some of the just like just little little things that I bring like that in that aspect is definitely really helpful because people notice it for ben, sure. Ben taught me about trending audio. Mm -hmm. and so guess who taught him I've that. heard about so it. You yeah. taught me about <laughs> trending audio. Thank you for that. Um, so that is a super cool story. And so after you picked up doing real estate, like how many real estate clients do you guys have? Mm, let's see. A couple dozen. Yeah, uh, no, I'd probably Definitely. say like, like in total, um 25 30 okay. something cool. like that like pretty much that are using you guys like consistently yeah. Yeah, yeah i mean we have you know one sure. some that are here and there but not yeah. like yeah and so, so i gotta obviously bring it up so you went from shitty properties in plymouth to I actually the dopest places yeah. in metro water, boston water parks yeah. And, yeah. And, like, and like new york and stuff too yeah. we've been yeah. doing stuff there yeah but. so like talk about that transition mm. Yeah, I well, so I think because we had make sure the, you're talking about yeah, okay, I was gonna say you move too much. Okay, <laughs> I think because we had the knowledge of like how to film 
um, you know, high end weddings and how do you use Instagram, uh, those things like work together and I didn't have to do much learning on that aspect. So, um, I just used what I learned or what I knew in real estate. Cause honestly, like I looked, there wasn't much people doing it. Like there no, wasn't a lot of there's, videographers. There's yeah. still, there's still not a lot of, I mean, the amount of realtors that do it has definitely increased, Yeah, but it's always the same people doing it. Right. Like there's just not a lot of consistent content creators right. in any market really. I, I mean, I follow like all of them. So it seems to me like everyone creates the same yeah. content, but mm. the reality is the people that follow me don't follow 30 other realtors, right? Right. you know, yeah. they don't follow 30 other videographers, no, right? So you're like, the guy. we have such <laughs> a warped perception of the content, I think, to a degree. Right. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but I anyway. <laughs> continue. But, um, yeah, so we just used our knowledge to, uh, you know, serve a market that wasn't really being served, especially in this area. Smart. This area. Mm-hmm. Everyone was doing photos. Yeah, so like everyone we, does photos. We photo, saw the so. need for, like, Ben saw the need for video and was like, why is nobody, like, tapping into this? Like, there were people doing it, but not in this area. Yeah. And I feel like they weren't, like, you know, like, the property tours, like, I feel like they're like this like cheesy elevator music. They and are, like man. there's still uh, some of our top competitors post like new videos, and they're just slideshows. Yeah, yeah. it's like this it's is boring. not this is of boring. iPhone photos. Yeah, yes, it's yeah. just not. That's it's amazing. Just, just not, I love those. It's just not cool. <laughs> of iPhone, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're they're like in the mirror and it's like tilted. Yeah, <laughs> like, and you see them. Yeah. They yeah. like can't even edit themselves out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. It's just. Um, if people just consume video, like I tell all clients when I meet with them, like people don't, I mean, when you look at a photo, your brain just knows what it is instantaneously. Yeah. I digest it all. Oh, this is a picture of a house. This is a picture of a kitchen and move along. Right. So if you think about scrolling, it's so easy to continuously scroll your right. photo. Mm-hmm. But when you, when you see video, it takes five, six, seven seconds for you to, for you to even be like, oh, I'm watching a video of right. this. Mm-hmm. Right. Which means longer attention span, et cetera. Right. So like, that's the reason you should, do it at the end of the day right but so what's interesting is i worked at coldwell banker in their corporate headquarters when i just graduated from law school and they had a whole video department i mean there were probably like eight or ten videographers on staff at coldwell banker for new england at one point but their videos uh, now that i'm looking back at like what they did and what you did like they're they weren't the same they were like more of the like go out and do like a walkthrough of the property versus like yeah cool videos that you shoot mm. Mm. yeah and, and i think our our style too of <clears throat> like the videos is way more like upbeat and like 100 fast and and ben's really good with i don't do like the video editing for that stuff he's he's the expert at it but um i do make recommendations though <laughs> <laughs> so I help like what that. let's talk about that I may, I mean, like sometimes I'm like, oh, that was, that was kind of like just a weird shot or like, why'd you include that? Or like coloring is weird if it's too bright. Or if someone looks weird, I'm like, why do you use the shot of this person? She's a perfectionist. Yeah, so yeah. I sometimes I'll like pick it apart a little bit, but it's definitely like that's why we balance each other out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm definitely not yeah. like, I, I don't know, like really picking it apart, but sometimes I'm like, hey, that's kind of odd. Like, looks a little and weird. I'm like, so. crap. Yeah, he's like, oh, I have <laughs> to go. He already, he already exported yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, and he yeah, shows yeah, me. Redoing. Yeah, he's like, oh, Ricky, are you sure? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I mean, that's why I, that's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> but that brings up a good point too, like with what you were saying in the beginning. Um, people posting on Instagram, like, I think it's almost turn. uh, there's Malika. Uh, <laughs> I think it's almost becoming more about just getting content out it yeah. is. than it like is. making everything perfect. I think with property videos, that's essential. Like you want it to be perfect, but as far as content goes for Instagram, which like Instagram is where it's at right now, no like doubt. just get content out there. Like, yeah. So what it, what would you say about that, Megan? Yeah, I mean, definitely, like, I feel like we think it has to be perfect all the time and that you have to be, like, perfectly articulate or, like, yeah. looking amazing, but half the time people don't even want to see that. And it's no. it's so quick that they're not even going to remember that you're, like, that my lip liner was weird. Like, yeah. those kind of things that, like, we... The, the small things, like, it doesn't The subject matter. of the video always is the toughest critic, mm-hmm. right? Like, and so there's so many people, like, I know we talk about it with our agents all the time, it keeps vibrating on me. Sorry, <laughs> sorry everybody. Um, the uh, the amount of agents here that are like fearful of creating content, and we just keep telling them like, done is better than perfect. Create the content. You're trying to make stuff where people know, like, and trust you. Mm-hmm. And obviously, when someone can see your personality, exactly. even if it's for sixty seconds, yeah. they're like, 
oh, yeah, I know that guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, and then when you go to actually meet with that client, they feel like they know you already. Exactly. And so, yeah. like, whether it's perfect, imperfect, it doesn't really matter. Like, right. it's doing its job. Yeah. And, and I definitely agree with, like, the personality. Like, it, people love seeing your personality yeah. and love knowing who you are. So, like, if you show them your videos, like, your funny stuff, like, people freaking love that. Yeah. W- would you say that people are attracted? Does that mean my, does that mean my videos are funny? Oh, <laughs> I love. Yeah, I love them. Nice. They especially push especially the, the, envelope. The, the blooper ones. Yeah. Oh, awesome. yeah. They're always good. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Go ahead. No, but I, I, like on that point, would you say that people are attracted to you guys as a as a company because of your flavor, your like fun take on a more serious topic? Like are most of your clients like Seth or the other teams that I know you work with? Like the, the, that have like more uh, interesting videos than like super serious, boring videos. Yeah, I yeah. think we take on a good mix of clients, but I think people come to us primarily because they're like, okay, we want to make this as best as we possibly can. We need to hire someone like who does it really well. That's yeah. like primarily why people will go to us for it. Mm-hmm. A um, lot of the time they're like, hey, we need to take our videography to an, to the next level. And that's like when they come to us, which yeah. is super cool. Like, it's obviously honoring because we're like, wow, they yeah. think of us in such a high way, which is really, really awesome. But it's cool because we see a lot of different clients. Like, some are serious. Some mm-hmm. are, like, Seth, that are more laid back and, like, just get content out there and do funny stuff. Yeah, and I think, and both are good. <clears throat> it's just, yeah. it's like, peop- and it's like who you are, so. Yeah. And where do you guys fall in, like, the editorial piece, right? Like, so the the video is your specialty, but like you guys have such great taste and like an eye for this. Do you step in and say like mm, the, the messaging kind of sucks? Like maybe try it this way. Maybe you wouldn't be that blunt, but you might yeah. redirect in a, in a kinder, softer yeah. way. Yeah. Right, we, right. Sometimes if someone says something, we're like, mm, maybe rephrase that. Or like Ben is really good at, at just like being like, um, instead of saying like that sucked, he'll, he'll say it in a really nice way. Like, Hey, like maybe let's try it this way. Yeah. yeah. I like, I want you to be hyped about your video but I want to like turn you in a different direction without you even knowing really. That's like what yeah. I try to do. I okay. think um, that's one of the things I love about shooting with you guys, to be honest with you. So um, there, it's first off, it's hard to create different types of content over and over again of the same subject, mm-hmm. right? Like, a, not that this has anything to do with weddings, but like a wedding is still always going to be special to the person, right? right? And, and that content is for them, mm-hmm. right? Ours is marketing for the general public, and I, so I feel like this need to do things different every single time. But you could just really do a similar type of video every time too. Yeah. And so what I really like about you is like if there's something that I'm screwing up or I get like writer's block for lack of a better word, you're always going to give us a couple different points of view and shoot it differently. Or even like the other day at Lad Hill, you're like, hey, let's do that again. You know, and I was like, I, I just want to like get it done and move along. But like the second yeah. take was significantly better it than was. the first take, it right? Yeah. Um, and that's just like how it flows. And like I would have just been fine. And like that's your job as this director creator to really kind of make me feel comfortable in doing that. Mm. Um, and so I think you got really good taste when you do that. So thanks, Seth. Appreciate work. that. Appreciate well, and I think being comfortable is the biggest part of it, right? So like if you're not comfortable, the videos aren't going to be great. Yeah. So how do you work with a client that is afraid to start or, or is just so uncomfortable that the video is just scary to look Awkward, at. Yeah. I, feel yeah. like, I feel like a lot it's of the time we try to like definitely just relate to them, be as personal as possible and like encourage whoever we're with, like whether it's a wedding and it's the bride is a little bit like insecure or not feeling her best, like whatever it is. Or if it's like a, a realtor and they're doing something, we would tell them like, Hey, like act like you're talking to a friend or like just as relaxed as you possibly can be and just definitely like encouraging someone the whole way, like with every single step is definitely really helpful. Cause then they feel they're like, wow, I am really freaking awesome. Actually. Like, <laughs> yeah. Do you, I, you're, you're right. Do you remember our first shoot? Yeah. Where was it again though? It was, it was, in, it was in the city on Mass Ave. Yes. I actually, oh my ne- gosh. actually never sold that property. It was, it was terrible. But, <laughs> I um, do remember that. but it wasn't because Mike of Gimble the video. Bro. No, the video was, yeah. the video class. was awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I remember it very specifically. Cause you were like, Hey, let's tr- let's do that again, but like let's walk and talk. You know what I mean? So and like, it made you feel more comfortable. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Right. So previously, a lot of the videos we we're making were very like educational content. You know, me just standing still or whatever. Right. Like less less property videos or even those property videos that I were. They were more like here's an intro. I'm not moving. Right. And so I find that it's first off it makes the the actor whatever you want to call it the subject. I don't know what the hell you guys call it. Um, <laughs> what do we call the it? Client, the client yeah, yeah. being yeah, the person who hired you guys. Uh, I don't know, whatever it is. Uh, 
a little bit more comfortable because like they just forget because they're moving and whatever yep. it's it's more natural right? right and and then i think secondly um i completely forgot the second thing that i was going to say so whatever <laughs> fucking um, see no. you later <laughs> It'll come back. Yeah, um, it probably will in like three and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah. To go off of what you said, Brendan, yeah. um, I think like what I tell people when they're like, you can tell they're super uncomfortable. Like, of course, in the moment you, you know, you help them out. You're like, hey, dude, take as many takes as you want. This isn't live. Um, so we can we can be here for like 10 tries. It doesn't matter. And like, I feel like me and Megan are pretty personable people. We're not like stone cold, like intimidating so we'll we'll talk you through it we'll try different options um and that's usually how like you get stuff out and another thing is like doing bit by bit so mm -hmm. like do a sentence at a time until you can get a full paragraph yeah that's, that's what that's i would easier. need like i would not be able to be like yeah just rattling off this whole long thing i'd be like uh, okay like sentence by sentence or like little bit by bits and that helps people for sure yeah. that that either don't feel comfortable or just like can't remember and that's me too. But, <laughs> so when they leave though i'm like okay what you need to do is go on your instagram story film an instagram story every day for like the next month yep and then you won't be scared of the camera anymore i completely agree with you yeah, yeah you so. get better at it the more you do it like yeah. anything else mm -hmm. right there's, there's so many agents who refuse to make content which is like it's criminal mm. you know and it's tough because as an agent like i never know why people are reaching out to me so we also always ask and we track a lot of stuff but like the, it's this recipe of doing it all. It's being on social, it's doing direct right. mail, it's ads, mm -hmm. it's open houses, it's signage, right? It's, there's so much, but there's, I heard a line the other day and uh, uh, it was from a marketing expert actually through Tom Ferry. So Jason Pantana, he's like a, the marketing coach at Tom Ferry. Uh, and he said, no one takes uh, your, your geo farm postcard to the bathroom with them. <laughs> right. Cause that's, everyone, that's a great point. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like no one's, no one's taken the rep well maybe the, the magazine they might take your magazine, the magazine. Yeah, it's yeah. real it's real good but a po no one's <laughs> taking that postcard that everyone takes and they flip flip and trash it no they take their phone yeah. right? you know what i mean and where do they go they go on social media yep right so true. not that i want to think about that but you know <laughs> the point being like so is your magazine available on social media uh it is there is a digital version the okay. there's yeah. a digital there version go. the bathroom version yeah <laughs> yeah you we'll should put that on the cover. Yep. We'll like, we'll record pot, it. like bathroom version. Yeah. <laughs> can you scan here? Yeah. <laughs> that's actually a good idea. That's, Honestly, that'd be yeah. kind of funny. So head into the can. Yeah. Scan. It might be one of those you like, could put like a little grabbers. toilet. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Good idea. Thanks for the <laughs> thanks toilet for this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I'll send you a bill. The, the, the reason I bring that up is like it kind of hit me like and I actually shared it with the team. Like just create the content, man. Like right. done is better than perfect. It's all right. good. So um, I know that so personally true. I've been. You know, if you think about even just like we used to do like market videos, right? Because like I felt like it e either A, needed to be this world-class production to be able to put out in the public. But now like just batch creating this content is so much better. Consistency. Um, yeah, yeah. 100%. Right. 100%. Yeah. So I agree with you. The more people create the content, the less going to worry about the quality of the uh, content as well. Obviously, it should be good content. But yeah. Yeah. The, the video quality or stuttering or it doesn't matter. Right. It just doesn't yeah. matter. So I what advice would you have for the realtor that is like, scared to get started like what, what's the best way to rip the band-aid off mm. do you want to go or me oh, you got it. so i would say like i said the stories other like, than call you <laughs> yeah, yeah right definitely call me <laughs> but no i think to in order to prep yourself like to get yourself ready and not awkward in front of a camera like you need to film yourself with your phone and just like even if you don't post it like just film yourself like yeah. get used to because we Watch live it. in we live in an mm -hmm. age where like you, you need to kind of build your personal brand. 100%. Like reference real estate is your brand, but you also need to build your face, your brand yeah. for you as Seth. So um, I think just like filming yourself, getting used to it, um, doing stories with friends, um, and then you can slowly work to like doing iPhone reels and then like do some cool productions, like be the, the, the video real estate agent guy that makes sick videos. Uh, because you're so comfortable in front of the camera. But I would say, like Seth said, just like just create content, get it out there. Um, but I, I about like you know like the algorithm. Yeah, the, it's yeah. tough. It's tough, right? <coughs> it's, so weird. It's, it's impossible. It's, it's really yeah. annoying. It's super annoying because it changes all the time. The thing I would recommend is it like the wizard, <laughs> the, the, the the algorithm, like the just, wizard yeah. from the Wizard yeah. of Oz, like it's behind somebody. the curtain. Yeah, I I honestly don't I know. Don't it's understand so, it. Megan's on top of it more than me, but. A little bit. <laughs> but uh, what I would recommend as far as that is like, yeah, like definitely like chase after the things that are like Instagram's pushing, sure. but don't let it, it hurt 
your brand and like what you're trying to do. Cause a lot of people like imagine if Seth just started doing every like TikTok dance yeah. out nope. there and he's like, now he's a dancer. Yeah. But like, like you want to use maybe like some of the popular dances to your advantage, but don't become the dance guy. If you're yeah. not the dance guy, yeah, you know, it's funny. Not like actually you, then people are going to see it right away. Yeah. 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 And listen, maybe if you want to do that and you do it once or twice and it's really funny. Great. Yeah. But like, I completely agree with you. There's, there's realtors out there that like, that's all they do. And you know what? That's their shtick and that's completely fine. Like I like this more laid back, you know, the people's realtor, so to speak. Right. Where right. like, you know, and, and egalitarian, <laughs> I don't even know what that word means. Me neither. So, I don't know. It just sounds fancy. Yeah. It sounds, it sounds really important. So, um, I just want to create, I want to attract like my tribe of clients mm -hmm. who again, want to work with me. They like know and trust me. Right. You know, and you know, that's why, like, yeah, listen, I'm I'm not the suit guy. Right. You know what I mean? It's not me. Right. And I think yeah. that you more articulately put it than I was trying Thank to you. get out of Ben. Like, <laughs> are are your clients kind of your tribe, right? Like the yeah. the the cool vibe, like hip, awesome. I think he's saying you're cool. clients. You're cool. Yeah, hip. no, his stuff is all like <laughs> really cool. Like it's it's not typical it's you don't see it everywhere and i would assume I think it's cutting edge and it I would do. attract those people that like want that right like mm. you don't you know reach out when you're thinking about your own video you don't reach out to like the boring video person you reach <laughs> out to the one who does the videos that you like right mm. right yeah and the and the funny thing you see like we i think don't attract a certain person we attract like how would you describe like our clientele? It's so diverse. It though. is That's really the weird diverse. Thing I think people like honestly can tell that like I, I feel like we pay, we make people feel comfortable a lot, and I think a lot of people have noticed that like over time. Like p either Ben will be making them feel comfortable when he's talking to them, like guiding them, you know, through filming a video or whatever, or if I'm there and I'm like encouraging them and like you know fixing the girl's hair or whatever it is. Sure. Um, I feel like a lot of those. Like, or at least like the reoccurring like clients there, that's the thing that they like notice and that they love about us. But I feel like, yeah, we have a pretty diverse like group of clients. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. We I, work with older agents, younger yeah. agents. But like, it seems like they're all pushing for excellence. Yes. Right. For sure. So yeah. like yes, that's exactly. certainly a yeah, common it's denominator. Not, yeah, it's they're not trying someone, to be different yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yep. Because like, like a lot of people are doing videos right now, but like if you, I think they want to just take it to the next level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you guys fired clients yet? Um, we definitely kind of, have. Yeah, but it's um, not like it's not like in your face fire. Yeah, no, it? no, we just like for attrition. We, we just, just like settle. stop answering texts. No, well, no. <laughs> well, I mean, usually we're just like, oh, we're not available. Well, I had one client or, like, who like just took up so much of our time. Like, well, that's that's why so I asked right? much. Yeah, because we, we, we've done that as well, right? Mm -hmm. Like, there's this uh, addition through subtraction standpoint when it comes to your time, mm -hmm. right? And so, like for instance, like. I don't know, as as a guy who prides himself on a low amount of takes, you know what I mean? Like efficient, quick, not picky. Right. Trust you trust you as the artist to do your thing. Like capture the shot, like, right. I think pretty low key. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm not, I don't know. But then there's like, nice you know, wh what if there was like, if I got to do this this video and it's 40 takes, like, you know, you, yeah. need, you need to do like work as an agent to like get ready for the higher quality too, mm -hmm. right? So that's, right. that's more of like where my question kind of came from. Right, yeah. And so we have had clients that are like that. And it's weird because they, I don't know whether it's like, I don't think I'm standoffish. I just think it's, they notice how much work goes into it and they just stop doing it and they, and they don't want to do it. It's but a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. So, but. So um, what goes into coming up with like the theme or like the vision of the shoot or like the, the, the script? Like yeah. what's that look like? Yeah. So the funny thing is like, with Seth, we'll we'll kind of just like sometimes wing we'll wing it. Yeah, we'll no, just we, like we almost we'll, always wing it. Yeah, because <laughs> it's like we we have like a flow. But some clients they need like a script. They need a storyboard. The storyboard's like you know the showing the different um, what like what each scenes, scenes gonna yeah. look like. These are for like bigger productions. Like oh, oh sure. yeah. Like we've done like um, this building in New York, and like they needed this whole big process, but. Um, yeah, just because it's I more doing? like in depth. <laughs> what like what does the process of like creating, and like okay, yeah, yeah. So so you could go to like full production mode and like do a storyboard and a script and a shot list and but that's gonna cost you a lot of money. Yeah, no doubt. Um, and if we're just pushing these videos on social media, what we need is if you're not like Seth and you're like, hey, I can just like you know come up with things to say. 
you need to come up with, you have to write stuff down. Like, Hey, what do I want to say? And then I'll send it to me. I'll kind of like simplify it. Like say, Hey, you don't need this two page essay. Let's nope. get it down to no one wants to listen. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. You, you want like, do people even watch four, videos with volume? I never do. I mean, I, captions. Is it depends yeah. on the situation. Right I feel like most of the time I just, I, I read the words. Yeah. And I don't ever have the volume yeah. up, yeah. but at the end of the day, if it's a catchy video, Right, you're gonna hook. tap in. Yeah, yeah, you know like if it's yeah exactly. Uh, I listen to our videos. <laughs> if it's like if it's like passing, does. just passing my time, and I'm just like, I'm just yeah. bored and whatever, then I'm just like, eh, whatever. But if I if it catches my attention, then I'm like, okay. So that's why yeah. I think like the quick, like interesting, and just like the good shots, and I don't know if it's if you're showing your personality, whatever it is that like, grabs your attention, like that's why it's yeah. so important. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think um, when we first started with real estate, pe- we had to really train people to do shorter yeah. clips because, mm-hmm. like, they're like, "No, show like a ten second version of that living room." I'm like, "No, like one second." I, like, I used to think quick. that. Like, I I've I don't know why I remember this, but like I remember when you first sent over like pricing, and I was like, 60 seconds." I was like, "Bro, I'm looking for like some content here, not <laughs> like you know." But the reality is, think about where it. I mean, that was Jesus two or three years ago. Yeah. But if you think about now how content is all vertical and consumed, like it's a- almost always less than 90 seconds. Right. Yeah. Because by the way, like, and I don't know if you guys look at like the analytics and shit, but like ain't nobody watching that whole thing. Right. Right. They're not, they're no just not there. I mean, it's gotta be really good yeah. um, for someone to stick through it, you know? Right. What they'll usually do is they'll watch like, so you'll post a bunch of reels. If they are very interested in like one property, they might click a YouTube link. Be like, oh, I'm actually like interested in hearing more about that. Click a YouTube link, watch a five minute video or a two minute video. Well, but, that's what's great about YouTube, right? It's it's right. it's become this long form reservoir mm-hmm. of of the you know this longer content, right? And uh, sure, they have shorts and stuff, but like I mean, personally, I'm not going on yeah. YouTube to catch shorts. Like, there's right. three other platforms I can yeah. do that, you right? Know? And you but, gotta think like. Think like how your followers think. Like, don't think like how how can we showcase this property so that everyone can see every detail. Like, think about like if your cousin follows you. Like, what do they want to see? Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah, we spend a lot of time talking about like what does the viewer really want? Mm-hmm. They want to know location, price, beds, baths. Like, give them the quick hits, right? Um, or you know, withhold something so they so it becomes sticky. Right. And they click into a, a longer form. They go to the website, whatever. Right. Like that's what mm-hmm. we've always tried to do. Um, but like every single piece of marketing, it should have some sort of like call to action. Yeah. Or, you know, this like, OK, you want to learn more? I got I to gotta hook you. Right. And right. I think that's where too, um, that's more like marketing shit than content, I guess. But it can come later on. Mm. You guys bored yet? No, no not going. bored. Yeah. What else should we talk about? It. I don't know. What would you what would you say? Um and I, I know we kind of already asked this, but I, so there's agents out there who don't want to create content and they keep telling themselves like, oh, it, you know, uh, I don't like how I look on And lenders maybe, right? Like a lot of lenders, no lenders might listen it. to us. What? <laughs> I was just saying like, it might not just be agents, like lenders uh, might listen to us too. <laughs> thanks. thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks I hope for, they thanks. do. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Well, I was saying... You know, maybe Ben has, so so maybe like he has some advice for people that just aren't agents. Like there right. might be other yeah. people that Sorry, don't Dad. have sexy real estate <laughs> to show off. Like us lawyers, That's we don't get point. to have like houses. But you're making content. Here, here's what I'm I, trying. But here's like, what I'd say to that, like whatever you're we're doing. We're just arguing now. <laughs> <laughs> whatever what the you're, fuck's that? <laughs> 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 I think to go off that point, like what do you non-real estate agents post about? Um, I think... What you need, what you need to do is think. What does the general public not know that you know that you can provide them information for? Like, yeah. like what do you know that I might not know, but I'd be very interested in knowing? If this, oh, is that, that, that a real all, question? No, like oh, I, trust, I mean, trust yeah, it. <laughs> yeah. But like something that's kind of it's a knowledge transfer. Yeah, because people want to be like, whoa, I didn't, I didn't know that. Like, that's sick. I'm gonna send that to my buddy. Like, yeah. Would you say anything, Meg, on that? <laughs> I mean, I think that basically, like, people want to just see educational, funny stuff like that. Like, something that grabs your attention and is, yeah. like, either passing your time or it's you're learning something. Um, and I think that, like, I think everyone has, obviously, you have a different perspective and everyone has their own experiences. So, you can share it in, like, a different way. Um, but you were wondering, too, about, like, how 
if someone doesn't feel comfortable or doesn't feel like qualified right yeah um i think you honestly like i think you do have to like just fake be confident yeah a lot of the time because nobody's like a hundred percent confident i mean maybe there are people that are like <laughs> Super, super, super confident. But most people have like insecurities and things that sure. they are worried about. But in the long run, we have to just think like, I mean, even for me, like posting on my like gym page, a lot of the time I'm like, oh, like people do pass judgments on things like that. And they're like, oh, you know, they're vain or like they only care about this, this and this. And it's like, well, that's what you think. And right. and I'm not that way. So um, I think like I just have to sometimes like, not care and even though i know people are like saying things or sure. like commenting stupid things imposter like imposter syndrome is yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and i do think about it like i i do think about that kind of stuff and i'm sure that like people do in every different type of whatever profession you right. are or yeah. like whatever it is like you're always gonna have that in the back of your head but like you just have to like somehow let it go and be yeah. like no it doesn't matter enough because like this is more important so you kind of have to just like realize how important it is and be like i'm gonna do it anyways mm, yeah. yeah well and that that's how i met ben and meg was at my old firm we hired them to come in and do some like lawyers behind the desk videos and like we were probably all super nervous like we weren't good um i would assume good subjects good. Yes, um but I think it would be a much different thing today, at least for me. Like if you guys came in, I think I would be in a very different place with like how to develop the content, what those are going to look like. Mm. Like, right. you know, I it just, you know, it, it takes taking that first step of like yeah. doing it and then keep doing it yeah. even if it feels uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Right. Like that's where the growth happens yeah, is exactly. like when you are uncomfortable. And I, I think that you guys were so good too. Thank my you. My recollection is like, you guys were just so engaging and like comforting and like, you're doing a good job and like, let's do a boomy. Like that's yeah. where I heard. I, I always think of Meg and, hey, and boomies together. Yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, it, it is, I think for, for people that don't have like this awesome house, right. To be the content, it's really hard to come up with like, how do I be authentic? How do I still look like whatever I'm a mortgage broker or a commercial mm -hmm. lender or whatever my profession is, and also, like, try to find my niche, right, niche. right, on social media. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you guys watch Gary Vee ever? <laughs> yeah. I, I do. I'm not. I'm not a big fan. No, but like I, he, he has some wisdom. I agree. He, but what he says is everybody needs to be creating videos like. And I love hearing that. Like, I'm yeah, like hey, yeah. it's sick. You're like but, more <laughs> video. But um, it's true. Like, if you are a landscaper, like my brother, you ha you should make videos. Yeah. And like, so what are you telling your brother? Like, how are you telling your brother to do video? So he's doing pretty good. Yeah, so he, he does. does a lot of iPhone stuff right now. But he'll just post his jobs like transformation. Like that's what I'd want to see. Is like, yeah. Yeah. how can you make this ugly lawn and yard turn into this like an awesome backyard yard. paradise? Yeah. There's and, a there's a guy I follow on uh, Instagram or TikTok that like all he does is like pressure wash and clean up like yards that are super overgrown. And he mm. does it like for free. So oh, I've seen him. You know what I'm saying? That's like so, awesome. so like you know, we've both seen this person. Like yeah. that's such great marketing. Like yeah. if right. I lived in that neighborhood and I needed he's a landscaper, like oh, this sure. first off proof of concept, he's doing good out there. He's doing right. this stuff for these homes that are like you know desolate and they need they need some updating. And I'm sure their eye source in the neighborhood. Like boom, that's the guy. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Because no, it's so true. It's like you know, you're I, not that I would be worried about, I would always check reviews, right? And everyone reads reviews, but, yeah, for sure. you know, what are you going to, you have no idea what they're going to do. Yeah, right? you become the instant expert on social media. Yeah. Like, there yeah. could be someone 10 times better than you, but if your content, Secret. you're putting out content, like, and they're not, you're making yourself available to people that they're not, and it yeah. just makes you the person, so. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. everyone should create content. Yeah, Seriously. definitely. And I, like, like I said, I really do think, like, personality is a lot because when me and like sometimes I share things that kind of are more personal like on our on our business story or like on our just on our Instagram page and it's like people love seeing that like people honestly they love always seeing, they always have better results yeah it's like it gets so much engagement because people love seeing the other human people. side of yeah, you. yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. like hey even if something like sucked or like yeah people just it's relatable so and not in like a I, I don't like seeing it when it's clearly in a fake way like people are overdoing yeah. it yeah. but mm -hmm. it, it, there's a balance where you can like just be 
people like you're doing a good job. Yeah, doing a good job with yeah. like, you know, promoting your business, but also showing the funny side and the cool side. And like right. sometimes things don't go the way you expect them <laughs> yeah. to. So yeah. it's it's cool to share that stuff too. That's a great point. What do you think the right balance of personal versus mm-hmm. business is when it comes to online presence or video, you know, we're talking so much more about Instagram now than I would have thought. It's kind of funny. Yeah. But it's because like, we get like 80% of our business. Yeah, days. we do. Well, it's, it's just <laughs> well, funny because like really cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, um, it's just, I, I have a, a, a thought in my mind. I'm just curious what yours is. What, like so percentage like wise? Yeah. yeah. I would say don't do every post personal because then you're, it's your personal page. But if you like make, yeah. if you do like, I would probably say like every, three posts you could post something more personal that doesn't have to do with what your you know your niche is but i would have a suggestion for seth shoot no i'll let ben finish and then i i have like how you can crush your personal side I so that. if i appreciate that yeah if i you know if i were posting about landscaping i don't know why i keep going to my brother's it's landscape good example. but um i would probably do like you know, me and my family, and then I would do a reel about, a, you know, a yard transformation. Then I would do a, even though pictures are kind of dead, like it's good for clients. They are carousels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're carousel. You could go, yeah. even though those don't What's perform. What's a carousel? Oh, my like God. Like when you, you swipe, swipe on Instagram, 10 like, photos. yeah. They don't perform as well, but it's good for like a client to go back on and look at the pictures. So I would post like something like that and then like another reel and then like uh, maybe a longer format video and then another personal thing yeah. like i would it, maybe like what would you say like um, three four posts yeah really like but stories keep it personal yeah. like yeah true, true. i don't know like maybe percentage wise i don't know like 20 percent or something like yeah, that personal 20 like yeah. percent that sounds good <laughs> yeah something like that but it, i think like like ben was saying with the like honestly seth does a re- you do a great job too oh, so i'm saying like that. ben his brother seth he he was just talking about like his um He's like redoing his house. They're adding an addition. Nice. And they're like, you know, adding the foundation and stuff right now. And I'm like, hey, you know what you should do on, well, part of the reason is because his personal Instagram got hacked. So Uh he doesn't have any more, but he's like, I don't even care. Like, I'm just going to share stuff, you know, on this, on my business page, which people already love because they have a great crew. But that's we are hyping up. Yeah, we, he's <laughs> killing brother. it. Yeah. Give, us, give us his. Um, yeah, what's his handle? What's his handle? <laughs> Eaton Landscaping. How do we find Eaton Landscaping <laughs> online? Yeah, what areas do they service anyway? That is too funny. <laughs> we really are giving them the plug. Well, well, you didn't give us their handle yet. Eaton Landscaping. Oh, it's just yeah. at Eaton Landscaping. Yep, okay. That's it. And but what um, areas does he service? <laughs> he service up uh, Plymouth County. And okay. like maybe I'm gonna go get I my follow. Yeah. yeah. He does like har- he does a lot. So depending on he what He still it needs is, work with his content though. Yeah. <laughs> but so what I was saying was like he since he's redoing his house, it still kind of has to do he does hardscaping and landscaping, all yeah, this stuff. Super so important. I'm like, you should do a video of like a little a pan video of every phase of the build because 100%. that's part like it's both yeah. it's not it's part of like the landscaping aspect that those people want to see like the people that love that and the people that love your family and mm-hmm. they're gonna love seeing like the build and maybe like your family in front of the house like stuff like that mm. seth i want to see a video of one of your listings of you cooking so seth is a <laughs> seth loves oh, to cook that's that's right. Right. and he does yeah. really good video kinda, like kind of make can, it you make a mess though ben that's okay you bring in a cleaning push. crew <laughs> You could right. do like a, it like could be a your cooking thing. show property tour. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it would yeah. be dope. Or be, like for a big a broker's idea. open, like bringing a chef to cook. That would be a good idea. Yeah. And then video that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think you could do a whole thing. Like I, I think you could have your own cooking channel. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. Cooking yeah. with Seth. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Don't Honestly, even... that could be your part of your Instagram. At, ho- at home yeah. w- with Seth. Right. That's usually what I do post. Yeah. I just po- post pictures of Kennedy and then. There you go. And you cooking, do like you do cooking videos. I do, but I I usually do them on stories. He's right, yeah, because you know that would like disappear afterward. But you yeah. could do like a like a recipe, you know, post every ten posts or something like that. I could, yeah. I could if they're that, that good. I mean, they're pretty good. My my sneaky <laughs> little thing that so, I do on my Instagram is I post pictures of our cat, and people go crazy. He they, they he's, he's like really catnip. Cute. Huh? It, the the oh, cat yeah. pictures are it's, like cat it is. Yeah, they love him. It's like every time I get all these hearts, I get everyone sliding up in my DMs. Yeah, They're like, God, he's so cute. I wish I could hug him. I'm like, it's, yeah, there you go. That's all I need. <laughs> What's yours, Brendan? What's your like little thing? I haven't done anything. Per- I don't, I can't think of the last personal thing I posted. Really? I feel like you travel a lot though. You should post more of that where, you, where you're at on the weekend. So yeah, I probably should. And I did that for a while. And then I was like, do, is it like showy? Like do people like, 
I, I got self conscious about it. Like, like it's not like you're it. you're on Nantucket every weekend. I mean, I mean, I'm on a ski mountain. So. Oh yeah, you were but there what, last, England, last weekend, right? I yeah. heard part of the podcast. Yeah. That, hey. it was like negative ten degrees, negative twenty four when what? we woke up on Saturday morning. So What'd you, you didn't listen to the whole podcast? No, yeah, I did. I was prepping Megan. We listened to uh, part of it. Uh, 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 yeah, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Whatever. You suck at cooking. I learned today. So. <laughs> I, yeah, I definitely suck learn. at cooking. I, de- I did too. just teach you a new uh, recipe with the eggs, though. Remember? Oh, he was he it? Only yeah. Knew, yeah, I taught him how to make like a little feta. And then I'll just make it for thing. the next year. And yeah. never I've, been, I've been trying to perfect the breakfast burrito lately. Ooh. Ooh. Do you make your own bur- like um, tortilla? No, that's way too much work. <laughs> buy, the, buy that carb-filled shit. Do you okay. know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, two eggs. Yeah. Maybe air fry some potatoes the day, be- the day before. You just heat them up. Yeah. Pan mm-hmm. with some butter and... A little cheese, you know. <laughs> put some ketchup in it. Impressive. Cooking I actually put expect that at our next shoot. I put bacon yep. in it, and I actually liked it better with bacon out of it. Oh, oh. so I, what about breakfast sausage? I'm a big you fan know, of I the love, breakfast sausage. I love breakfast sausage, but I have not put that in the burrito yet. I wonder if I could air fry frozen breakfast sausage. I bet you, you can. So we get Walden um, meats. Walden meats delivered and, and we can't like we started it in the pandemic when you couldn't get meat and we were yeah. like, yeah, we got to get it. And then we tried to quit and they were like, well, you, we can just do specials. So now we get eggs and like breakfast sausage and, and bacon and they're you can get a brick and you can make your own like breakfast sausage patties. Oh. So Andrew made like um, English muffin sandwiches the other mm, the other that. night for dinner, they, they were so good. He got like that those stone fire. skillet, like fancy English muffins mm-hmm. with like the fancy egg, the fancy. It was like eight to know. fourteen minutes in the air fryer. Oh, ah. right, right. <laughs> there you go. Just so you know, so that might be on the docket tomorrow. We're I want the video of this. All right, yep. I'll whip yes. one up tomorrow. That's yeah. gonna be on the story. And, and I I Maybe. tried this. It's a, it's definitely no, not the most healthy pick, but I like to put. In the tortilla, just a quick spread of cream cheese in it. Oh, oh. interesting. Wait, so not then the egg goes not on crema. top of that? All right. Yeah, definitely not healthy. Well, some yeah. people put like, I think I saw one time someone was making like scrambled eggs and they put like sour cream in it. So mm. you're yeah, actually supposed to do that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it makes them fluffier, you know right? Did you know that? I've seen yeah. people put water in them too. And that's you're like, supposed to do that too. Gross. What? Yeah, so I would say skip the water. Oh, so the if, water. here's the deal. I know far, far too much about weird. scrambled eggs, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> Gordon Ramsay. That's where I saw the sour cream yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah he also scrambles them in the pan. So I'm you crack them all. Yeah. Cold pan. Yeah. Knob of butter. Yeah. So don't put any butter in the pan. Other, uh, and you, I'm saying, yeah, like I'm actually ever going to do this and I'm not. <laughs> and, you, <laughs> yeah. and you scramble them like live in the pan on and off the heat, on and off the heat. Then well, you turn it off and then you turn it back on? Yeah, or you move the pan. Yeah, oh. <laughs> you yeah. Or you put uh, it on low where it turns on and off. You could do that, yeah, yeah on a nice Thermador range, yeah. five-star burner. Yeah, They 100%. should make one that you just push off and like you just press the button, it turns it off, and then you press it or you let go and then it turns back on. Or if you had an induction. So, or so some around. high-end ranges actually have like an on-off feature. Oh, yeah. So my so So my range will simmer for... It's, you have two so options. So you have a fancy one. I do, yeah. <laughs> um, It'll do like eight or 12 hours, right? Like you can keep chocolate yeah. warm for. You can do, it's like eight <laughs> seconds on and then 52 seconds off or wow. vice versa. I don't even know the brand of our um, oven or whatever LG? it's called. No, I don't know. Samsung. Yeah. So this is what happens in the podcast. We just <laughs> yeah. taught you. We're Get into about like crazy scrambled shit. Eggs. <laughs> scrambled eggs, but. I so I do like that method. It's far too long. Yeah, like it a takes excessive. a scrambled egg, which should take <laughs> a minute. It should oh. take like 30 seconds. You no, just this shit, this. when you do it that way, it's like we're talking 10 minute scrambled eggs. I mean, they're <laughs> yeah, really no. good. I mean, like, I do cook them on low so that they're nice and fluffy, but yeah, I'm not going to do the whole. So if you scramble them before, I'd put some water in. It adds a little fluff to <laughs> it. Just really? For you, Ben. Yeah, yeah. Just, a, just a dab. And this is for the burrito. <laughs> <laughs> well, whether you could just eat it, eat it out of, uh, you know, on a plate, on toast. Well, don't they say that um, someone's like, screaming? Yes, yeah. <laughs> what was happened? that? Yeah. The I'm highest screaming. level. We're in the hood. So. Of <laughs> a French chef is like how they make an omelet. Did you ever see the oh, fifty foot journey? I think I it was. But actually, should I, is it a cooking show? Should I watch it? It was a movie about like two chefs in Michelin rated restaurants, and I think it was like Helen Mirren or something. It was more like of a rom com movie. You've said too. so many words I don't even understand <laughs> yeah. in the last eight, nine seconds. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, the the whole like thing was on you know the the real value of a French chef is how they make an omelet. Got it. Mm. All right. 
right? It's like the hardest that's skill like, to master. I, I, I bet guess. they wouldn't like the omelets we make. That's <laughs> yeah. Listen, that's omelets are... are what, are your, what are your omelets? We just Flipping made, them is hard, She dude. just made a feta spinach tomato omelet. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, mm. I, I just, really like, I, sometimes I just look at the menu at a restaurant and I just copy it. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think this is pretty much the I same can't, thing. I, I can't successfully flip the omelet. I just always cook it on really low with the lid on, like, uh, after a little bit and then just... When we were little, we had this pan <clears throat> that, like, pan? Oh, yeah, the flipped over and it, like, almost was like a, like a, like a, um... A waffle, waffle pan, yeah, and you just like flipped it, and it all made the best perfect omelets. Hey. All right, I should get you one of those. For These are my notes. I'm I uh, omelet pan. lid on <laughs> for <laughs> omelets. Oh yeah, low he- low heat. Right. So if anyone was wondering, this is uh, this is now a cooking podcast. So. <laughs> um, it's your niche. <laughs> it's it, it's but one niche? of the niches. Niche? But content yeah, can be anything that you're passionate about, right? So exactly. like coming back to your. Your question about like how much should be personal way to get us back on track. and hey, how much good. should be you know more business focused if you have a passion that is your authentic self mm-hmm. right like try to let it out a little like the totally. the world may you know appreciate like it. that and yeah. it, and you know you're like a guy and like really? you know <laughs> mo- like, like you're, you're like I wouldn't look at you and think like he loves to cook, uh, right? Right, right? Like I think it softens you to like yeah. a wide relatability. Yeah, yeah that's huge. what it is. It's yeah. huge because yeah. it it makes you less of a brand and more of like an actual person that they want to be friends with. Well, sure. and yeah. what is one of the most important rooms in most houses? Kitchen. Kitchen. Mm-hmm. So now, because of your expertise in cooking, you can have like a real in depth discussion about the kitchen and, and the kitchen layout and mm. the kitchen design and the kitchen appliances and like I do know too much about appliances. Well I, I mean I think you it makes you valuable. Too, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never cameras though. Never worked on uh, cameras. Sorry. Just but, the fun. Yeah. There's one department I never got into. Fun fact, Ben is the gear person. I just I know how to use everything and I love doing it, but he's the one. He's I'm just trying like, to get her to love gear. How much do you geek out on the gear? <sighs> Dude, I will watch like four YouTube videos every single day about random gear that I don't okay. need. But So let's w- let's yeah. talk about gear then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What should we buy? What do we need? Yeah, wait, so just, <laughs> For like, cameras? Yeah. yeah. Or just, just gear in general. What do you think? What do you What's think we should budget? do? I, well, you guys do yeah. great Zero. with sound. Zero. 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 The bouger is it's as low as possible. Sounds great. Yeah. That's, that's the most important thing. But for cameras, hmm, I would probably, honestly, I hate to say it, probably go with, so, go with some Sony cameras. I'm a big Sony. This is uh, it A3? Is that what it was? You had the A6300, but I would probably go with the A7 III. A7 III full frame, which means that it takes in more information and it gives more of advanced look, like more depth. Uh, <laughs> but um, I'm, I regret asking this question already. <laughs> You're like, so, it's. Yeah. Hey, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, yeah. yeah good. I would probably get a three camera um, setup. setup though. Yeah. What yeah, about yeah. something that hangs from the ceiling and like spins so that like it a can, disco ball? Ca- yeah. No, but <laughs> like a disco ball yeah. camera. A stripper yeah. ball would be great. Yeah. Or like. <laughs> Sound oriented, like it, like knows that you're talking. And it, like, that sounds very you. expensive. Oh, and yeah. does cameras. that exist? Yeah. I've no. never heard of it, oh. but it, someone could make it. You probably. could make that. You'd be really rich. Huh? It seems like it would like be perfect. Should I read like, this a little down? like AI <laughs> in it. That's idea. like, oh, voice. I'm going over here. Well, so there's voice. some adaptive. Maybe I don't like even know that. what the right word is. I I want to say adaptive use, but that's definitely not it. It's like there's like video tracking now on most uh, Apple devices. I even think. You can turn it on and off. Maybe, yeah. It finds your face. I know, face. like, on gimbals and stuff, they have that, too. Yeah, so. it finds your face. I don't know how, how huh. it works. But you know what you can do? You can put a 360 GoPro here uh, and then just switch to whatever angle you want because it records true. all angles. Does it, Sorry. like, work it at all, though? Yeah. Huh? Does it, like, make you look like... Yeah, it might be a little, like, warped view, but... There's a really... I watched a video the other day. There's a really cool um, switcher where if you hook up all the cameras into you know obviously this and then there's like a separate little thing i don't know what it's fucking it's like a mixing board yeah but, but it's cameras. for but it's for video so like yeah. i'm talking right now i would just have that button on yeah right oh. and so it'd be me and then when you taught it just hit, you know so you like yeah. you live cut and live edit so you save some time yeah it sounds like really a guy for that i think i need a producer for that we, we have <laughs> to level up the podcast <laughs> someone's yeah. watching and yeah, so yeah. he's tapping yeah, yeah. Well, you could literally just like just be sitting yeah, over there or be cool. in the other room or something it's not bad, yeah. i was i was on instagram last night and i saw one of the agents from like selling sunset or like million dollar listing and they were on a podcast 
but they were in club chairs, like sitting oh, yeah. around in four chairs as opposed to at a table. Mm. Yeah. What are what are your thoughts on table be, yeah. versus like chairs? I think this makes the conversation more authentic, but that one would that way be would more be comfortable. more comfortable. For camera angles, it'd be very you know, more applicable, like easier to shoot if right. it was like, you know, you could yeah, get yeah. you could set up three cameras and they're all pointing and the one direction rather than like a camera over there because this camera will be shooting that camera. See, right. they're they're at each other, so it'd be easier. Sounds but, like, sounds like you're a tough critic, right? Now. <laughs> so I was on a podcast and it was like a shorter table. I was on this end. The guy was on this talking end. to the microphone, and he <laughs> uh, for the Jesus guy. <laughs> is it that bad? He moves really? a lot. Yeah, you're so, like. Yeah, I know I'm a Italian uh, talker, but uh, he had a <laughs> camera right here and a yeah. camera right there. But right. that's right. it. You probably could do that. Just like nice and high shooting. Yeah. Cross. But were you kind of, you were on the end of the table? Yeah. And then that? like, instead of having like a cross, I'd probably do two on the end and then like two here. No one on this side. Uh, That'd probably be best. Oh, change the layout of yeah. our seating. And then have the cameras coming from this way. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds way better. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> you guys actually want to start over? Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're gonna start so. from the top. Um, all right, we're getting we're getting up against it here. So we are. Thanks for the thirty minutes about how to make our podcast better. We appreciate that. <laughs> and the <laughs> eggs as well. Yeah, yeah. eggs. Yeah. Yeah, great eggs. I mean, we're this yeah. is the best one we've had. Yeah. yet. <laughs> Selfishly, did you? What were some points that you guys wanted to hit before we end? I, I want to know what the coolest property Ooh, yeah, you've been at that. lately is. What's your favorite, Meg? I'm going to say Olympia. Okay. Tell which, them about it. Which, which is <laughs> What's <your> Olympia? <laughs> yeah, tell them about that. Sorry, yeah. Like Olymp Olympia Dukakis? <laughs> I think she's dead. I don't know. I, said, um, I don't even know what that is. Yes. <laughs> At first, I'm he does sorry, this. He does this. Yeah. <laughs> she was in Steel Magnolias. Did it see it? I don't know. That <laughs> is that uh, another <laughs> French movie? <laughs> like, no, it's not French. <laughs> That was a good one. Uh, stars Dolly Parton, though. Yeah, I dude. Mean, what, what more do you need? She, she's dead, isn't she? <laughs> no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dolly Parton is Dolly alive. Parton is a national treasure, and she's alive. She's pretty cool. Yeah. For now. Yeah. Um, I mean, not but much Dumbo, longer. the Olympia was, or it is a very, very big building. <laughs> a really tall, it's a skyscraper, like part of the skyline in New York, and it's really, really cool. It's kind of shaped like a sail, like a um, sail, right? Yeah. Right. I would say it's and like it's a it's in Dumbo, Brooklyn. It's yeah. a um, new high rise. Yeah. Where it's you, really pretty, yeah. and it's just like it twists really like beautifully up, and it's just cool when you look up at it. And like I love like the modern look of everything, and just like the the kind of like the style of yeah, like all the interior design. Everything the units like were really dope. Cool. And yeah. who did you shoot really, that for? Really sick. So we shot that for a company called Social Thrive. They hired us to go shoot it. Mm -hmm. So we worked with um, the developers who did a property or a building in Boston. Yeah. They did the New York one. Obviously, driving time sucks. So that's not like something we do all the time. But sure. really, let's but just it do is, it because yeah. like I mean, that's a portfolio piece. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like. yeah we we've like been doing back, we've different been back stuff. There a bunch of times too, so we've got to know like the people there, and like we've shot with some cool. Um, like cool people at that location as well. Like the, some of the people that are involved with the project. So it's been really like fun meeting them and like also filming it just because it's like so different than what, like it's not very normal. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, for sure. So that's been really fun. Yeah. And then I'd say that one that you commented on the juggler, it's yeah. called juggler meadow. It's a uh, Yankee candle. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I know the one. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's just wild. It's like a theme yeah. park. When did yeah. you shoot that? August. Yeah, and then we went back in September and That's shot more real. Yeah. And the helicopter landed on the lawn. Yeah. <laughs> that one? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And it was cool. That was cool for me, too, because, like, um, my – I have family that – I'm from Sweden, so I have family in Sweden. <clears> and my sister, like, sent me an article or, like, some video that she found. Like, it popped up on her Facebook or, or Instagram. Yeah, that got a lot like of that. press. Yeah, and I was like, oh, my gosh, like, it's in Sweden, too. Like, this property that we, you know, shot at. Like, yeah, it's really, really cool. cool. Yeah. I think stuff like that's good for like portfolio for us. Yeah. 100%. But I think the smaller properties are where the money's really at yeah. for us as a business, just because you can do the, like, you know, multiple Turn day. And burn. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. So like it's ben funny. Ben will be like, out like all in like one day, you can do like three or four different video shoots. And then, yeah, I think that's yeah. the hard part too with big properties like that, right? Like, how do you really capture that property in a short form video? Mm. Yeah. You and can't. only certain people are going to watch it. Like, who's going to, it's not. 
for everyone. Yeah. None of the videos I saw on that property were short form, though. Like, that was a long video, wasn't it? Yeah, we had... Like, I two minutes a, at least. Yeah, something yeah. like a minute yeah. and a half yeah. to yeah. two minutes, something like that. But we did a lot of reels and stuff like, like that. Like, split it up into split smaller... Even, even two minutes is, like, not a lot. We no. barely covered the property. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably rooms you didn't even go in. So you just highlight the things that you think will yeah. really pull like, people's attention. Like water parks. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like exactly. the water Bowling alleys. Yeah. Stuff, you don't do yeah. like the laundry room. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bet you it was bad My mother would buy the house though, based yeah. on the laundry yeah. room. I mean, you actually might want to reassess that. There's a lot of people that love laundry. I love, okay. I love laundry. I would yeah. love a nice laundry room. Yeah. 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 I think that sells houses. Have you guys had any thoughts of selling? I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. We might have a buyer. Yeah. I mean, definitely when we found out like how much more our house is worth now with uh, yeah. like we renovated it and we also built like an in-law in our Airbnb. We finished, yeah. So, but it's like, it's cool because without that, anyone knowing like that we did that, we know our house has gone up in value, but we also know like buying a house would be equally, yeah. <laughs> Stressful. It would be, yeah, 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 it would be yeah, a yeah. lot. You so sell we, your house we're not trying to do yeah. that. I was mostly kidding. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. You know, what's <laughs> funny though, like ever since working with the, you and like all the other agents, like I've gotten so much more interested in like real estate, yeah. like, like the, like buying and selling process. Yeah, Ben's well, always you, telling me like if, all this information. If you think about it, right? Like cool. when did you guys buy? 2020. Yeah. Okay. So obviously business is great. You know, gear is good. You get an office now, which is dope. Yeah. Right. Like you guys are high employees. Like growth is good. Growth is also addictive. Mm -hmm. And if you guys probably look back and I don't know this, so don't answer it, but like sometimes you're more profitable, smaller than you are bigger. And like, there's a, there's a huge hurdle to get over there. But at the end of the day, when, it, when you think about the house, like where else can you make that type of money passively? Mm. Right. Mm. In such a short period of time. Dude, seriously, yeah. Right, mm. so like the game, it's it's almost everyone's highest and best asset. And it's where the vast majority of people's net worths will come from. Right. right so yeah. if you can acquire more of them, then right. it's definitely. Oh, definitely, for sure. That's, that's where it's at. Mm. So like it's a good it's a good thing to be interested in, in, yeah. in my opinion. You oh, know? for sure. Yeah, we, we um did, redid our basement. It was like completely like nothing bones. It was in. scary. There was like a <laughs> like scary room down there, I remember? Dude, yeah, there was like a creep. It uh. was a storm door it, downstairs. Storm door with like, um what is that flooring that they used in like the 70s? Asbestos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And like style. just pipes everywhere. Yeah, like, and, what then, was and I'm like, room it used seems for? like you would like chain someone up in this room and just <laughs> we like We call it the torture here. room. Yeah. It was like Perfect. super sketchy. Like, so you guys I, still I have that? No, that is, that, that. that's now the dining room. Yeah. And so it's opened, cool. been opened up and nice. it's beautiful. So we redid did that. And it, like, this is like after working with all these agents, I'm like, what could I do? Like, to, Smart. what could I use my money to do? So we renovated the basement and now we're renting it out. So now we're paying less mortgage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Smart. Cool. Like, Smart. It's yeah. fun. <laughs> it is, yeah. Investment. Good investment. Yeah. yeah but it. it makes us want to do more of that as well, which is. Yeah. It's addictive. Yeah. It is. We got Brendan, uh, Brendan hooked. He's on the hunt now too. Yeah. Think. Thinking about so you're it. You're looking to buy? Mm. Okay. Listen, I honestly think that if you can stomach it and everyone's, oh, I don't want to be a landlord. Okay. Suck it up. You know, um, it's not that hard. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and at the end of the day, if you can find something that creates some passive income and is it really passive? No, it's still a lot of work. Like all weekend I was trying to fix boilers oh, that were right. broke and stuff. Yeah, it is what it is, but you know, it's also pays for our cars, you know, with passive income, right? So mm -hmm. there's additional income. And, and ultimately, yeah, luckily, the last 10, 15 years, real estate's always going to go up. You know, even, even a lot of people don't know this, even in from 2000 to 2010, with a giant pop in the market, real estate was up 2%. Mm. Wow. People, people forget that. Mm -hmm. In the past okay. 10 years, you said? Well, that was yeah. w during a huge financial crisis where the market crashed in that decade, real estate was still positive. Wow. Okay. It was it was negative like a handful of years in that 10 um, and negative so much that it obviously brought it to barely positive. But yeah, listen, in the, in the last 10 years snapshot, I, I think it's probably three, four X, right? right? So See, this is the type of information that you could post like a little reel about and feel like, that's, what? That's, really? That's, 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 that's the content that's we're going to do, man. Coming so, right now. See, it's um, perfect. Yeah. So like, you know, a lot of people, they, they don't know, but they can get in for for little to no money down sometimes and um fun fact i i bought this building with no money down so nice. there's Let's there's go. there's ways you there's ways you can do it and, and force equity and all that type of stuff so yeah the more people that can listen and you get should have it, a youtube channel on real estate hacking it's a good idea yeah it's a good idea the only thing is if you have that niche you got to stick with it i know that's the thing that's with YouTube. the hard part. youtube is so hard man because you got to be with it for years i know 
So, Ben and Meg, what's the biggest shit show you've showed up to when you're like, oh, my God, I just want to get back in my car? <laughs> it's got to be a wedding. Oh, it's I got to be a wedding, right? Oh. Well, you say a wedding one. Oh, my God. Meg will say the wedding one. We didn't, even get, it. We didn't even get into the wedding, which is <laughs> okay. like a whole other level of crazy. So, Meg will say the wedding one. I'll say the real estate one. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was going to go first. Just don't, don't I'll do go any first. name dropping. Yeah, no names. No names. What, was, no what names. was the bride's name? <laughs> no, go ahead. I'll so, give you her address, too. Yeah, the yeah, agent's perfect. name was... No. I show up to a uh, listing... <laughs> The lady wanted me to do photo and video. Yep. So I'm like, okay, like, you know, she wants a video. Usually if you want a video, it's like, I, th- I believe everyone should do video, but usually it's like a good listing, like, or like a, yeah. you know, decent one. Anyways, I show up and there is literally like crap everywhere in the front, like mattresses, trash, like, <laughs> like old crap. In the front everywhere. lawn. In the front. And I'm like, what does the backyard look like? <laughs> so it was very creepy. Though. It looked abandoned, you know. I think it was abandoned. Um, and so I'm like, can't even guess. I'm like what, what's worse. going on here? Like I can't broken wait. cars, all this stuff. And Wasn't so there like tents and stuff, tents, tarps, like just most random crap. O- offline. I'm going to want the address. Cause I'm going to look up these photos real quick. <laughs> yeah. You might, so, you might want to. So I'm like, okay, what, how can I capture this? This is when I first started. Um, different agent though. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely is different. It, it was like, I don't know, it was, but it was very surprising. He like, he was like, oh, this is going to be a cool, you know, it was like a, in a, a nice area. Town. Yeah, yeah, actually like waterfront town wasn't waterfront though. <laughs> and so <laughs> I go in, I, I'm like just looking around the house. I'm like, what, Do I have the address what is, wrong? what can I possibly share here? The house inside, there was literal like animal feces, <laughs> like on the ground. And did you ever think is this real? Like, I'm like are you like thinking you're being Ben's pranked? Like, Ben's like Dude, tripping. I thought I thought like I was gonna get jumped or something. I'm like, why am I at this property? So she's like, all right, I guess we'll just shoot the exterior. And um, I'm like, <laughs> really? Yeah, um, good, good advice. Well, I'm only gonna get one drone <laughs> yeah, clip and I'm out of here. And um, so as I'm flying the drone, I notice the backyard's weird. It's got cages everywhere, cages. And I'm like, they, there was like animal cages. No animals though. No animals were hurting this stuff. <laughs> no, yeah. but um, so I'm like, okay, dot, why is there fighting. cages in the back? Blah, blah blah. And then so I just shoot this clip. I go back home and I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna Google this yeah, address. Yeah. Yep. And so I found out that it was um a family or his grandparents and they had grandkids living with them in their house. It, yeah, it's actually but, pretty sad. But they had like seven different species of animals living in the house with them like pigs uh i think there is like uh what's the bird with the like oh peacocks <laughs> they had um dogs cats like mice like everything Wasn't you can think like of a donkey living. or something it's just like yeah very <laughs> random animals my in-laws have a donkey and but it lives in the barn <laughs> see that's where it yeah. should be it, and name is really radar were, so <laughs> they got in tro- legal trouble because yeah. they had kids you, you living can, in yeah. this property with wild animals or whatever um, so, they, like the so they put them in the cages in the backyard. <laughs> the, the, the I don't know. The they, the so the animals the were kids. basically going in and out of the house with the kids living in there. And so they, you know, there's got, a house like this in, in my town. Really? really? Yes. And the neighbors put up these signs that say, welcome to Maine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And we were just in Maine and I now wow. get it. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maine's Well, weird. like the thing is Anyways. I've, I've seen places like, you know, people that have like a, a pig that lives in their house and he hangs out with them or like a little, a little mini cow or whatever. They, not like, for but, me. No, but they're like, they're like clean and they, it's like just one. Are not, they? Not are, like. Are indoor pigs clean? <laughs> I like saw a video real? on TikTok. It was, it's just, it's really cute. I mean, I prefer <laughs> mine in the freezer. <laughs> 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 Got him. Continue, Ben. Yeah, no, that was it. That that, was that's it. a shit and, show. And so and did I, you post, did you post it? it? <laughs> No. Yeah, where is that video? It's on Dropbox. I can send it <laughs> to you. But uh, no, I was just like blown away. It's not they your got portfolio. Arre- the grandparents got arrested oh. and lost custody. Yeah. Yeah. Wild. I mean, definitely really sad. But like in, in I laugh at like bad things sometimes. So I just was like, what the yeah. fuck? Like the fact that all those things like in one place, like it was just mind blowing. Mm. And it wasn't that far away from like where we live. I'm like, what? I may hit the wedding. Happened. Yeah. Was it well, a bridezilla or was it like just a... A horrible. I feel wonderful. like there's different aspects to like bad weddings. Honestly, we haven't had like a lot of. Oh, I don't know. I feel like we have really good weddings and really good couples, but. Do you um, do psychovals like in the intake process? 
I, I we think do <laughs> some like uh, vetting, like we, you know, we, we ask for a lot of vet. info. So because we also we want to know like that they're a good, f- that we're a good fit for them. Right. Not not only like are they like crazy, but like mm-hmm. we want to know if we're gonna vibe with them and like you know if we off the bat can tell that that we're just not a good well, fit, then we just don't do, do it. Yeah. Right. The the real estate video, albeit strange, was one and done. Right, like, and I don't know. Maybe you kept working with that person. I don't <laughs> no, know, no, I was one. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, that's just like, nope, not who I'm interested in working with. Yeah. Mm. Whereas, if you get into this wedding contract, like, that's just such a longer term relationship yeah. on mm. on one of the most important yeah. days of people's lives. Yeah. Like, it's a lot like of high, the stakes are high. Yeah, I can't think All of right, like so yeah, one. I mean, I can think of. Oh, which I thought you were going to tell me. Uh, Ben knows. What so we came me. home. He's oh, got okay. one. So I just don't give details. Okay, I just, just wasn't 100% sure brief. if I should. So yeah. basically, we um, we filmed this. It was a really nice wedding day, like really beautiful. Couple was awesome. Like they were, it was, everything went really great. Dance floor was lit. Like everyone was having so much fun. I, like we clicked with everybody. We had a great time with, we knew the photographers. Everything was literally awesome. Like high budget. So like everything was just bougie and like, Really great. Good recipe. Yeah. Yeah. It, no, but it was like super fun and a good group. Literally just all around really awesome. So what, so what happened? So <laughs> so we, the reason this is kind of crazy too is because we came home um, from, we flew straight from Kauai from like a really dope wedding, uh, an yeah. elopement. We flew straight home from that, landed it in at Logan Airport, drove up to Maine and immediately got ready for the wedding. Like we had, we had like five hours to get ready. And wow. then we like straight went straight into, it just was a bad schedule. Was it was delayed? a scheduling issue. Like, yeah, it just, there were, there was issues <laughs> with our happened? flights. That's what no, happened. No, we had a backup. Okay. Sure. Yeah. But, um, we made it back. So we made it back for this Ooh. awesome wedding. Then, like I said, dance floor is awesome. We leave, we go, you know, go sleep, go, go rest. And then, we wake up to a text message or a voicemail, Voice was right. it? A voicemail from a bridesmaid. And she goes, um, please don't post anything about the wedding. They're no longer together. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So after we left, something had happened. Then something went down and they were no longer married or like Get no longer out. together. So First time. I mean, it was really like we were like, I literally like teared up. I was like, that is horrible. Like, that's so sad. And it was very surprising. But... Because it was it wasn't like a you did know it wasn't like a trash wedding ever, it was really awesome. Did they ever get back together? Not that we. Do know you of. follow them on Instagram? Um, I think they kind of went a little ghost on Instagram because uh, I think yeah because their lives fell apart yeah, publicly yeah, on yeah. the night of their wedding. Yeah, so I don't. I, <laughs> yeah, so don't post this as a reel on Instagram. Not this part. <laughs> on the but it was really really they it was a really really surprising honestly. But we did we followed up and we're like hey like do you want the did you wedding get paid? video? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we got paid two weeks before hey, the fr- Hey, we don't yeah. have to edit. Yeah. Yeah. But, Surprise but we did, win. We, we did ask them, though. Like, we, f- do you we want followed the footage? up and we were like, hey, do you want, you know, our, do you want the wedding video? Do you want the footage? We didn't get a response yet. So maybe, maybe if they get back together, like, they'll want it. You'll drop it. They'll yeah. let us know. But there also has been, like, one uh, other one that, remember the, the uh, punching one? Oh, okay. Real quick. This Sorry, is a I know this thing a lot of time. But um, during the first dance, uh, the bride and groom's first dance, kind of an important moment in a wedding. Sure, yeah. Um, <laughs> kind of. I, like, everyone, like, halfway through, I noticed everyone's, like, kind of, like, looking back, and there's some commotion. And so I go up to the DJ after. I'm like, dude, what happened? He's like, dude, I think the bride's sister and the bride's aunt got in a fight. And I was like, <laughs> what? So I look at my footage, dude. I had Stop. it on video. Yeah. In the, they were in the corner. Like dude, hair ripping. The the bride sister Did you was a bridesmaid. No, she punched the aunt, and they like pulled hair, like scratched each other. Like while you were recording back. the first first dance. dance. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're like, like first dance corner. subject, but you see this like commotion. And like the, when you're filming, like when you're just in the zone. You're yeah. filming, and I'm like I'm focused on the subject. Like I'm very much focused on. Like I can't even tell. Like if someone's waving at me, I'm yeah, yeah, I'm very much it. paying attention yeah. to. You're a What's professional. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, so like you, you would have never known that until like Dude, rewatching wild. it and it hearing about it's it. Wild. He probably, he probably wouldn't have even caught it until yeah, way which later. Stories, which story is better? Real estate story. Sorry. Real estate. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. messed up, dude. Yeah. What about for the wedding one? Which one tops? Oh, the, the breakup, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, wedding yeah, night. Brutal, yeah. Brutal. So Great I think I told night. you guys this. My husband is a wedding florist. Yes. Oh, no way. Yeah. So like I get like, I don't get those parts of the wedding yeah. story. I get like the, the setup yeah. and like the like 
drama of like the different vendors because yeah. the vendors are always pissed at each other mm. and but yeah. that that one's good yeah <laughs> that one's good yeah and we've actually been really um like i feel like our we haven't had a lot of <clears throat> bad like experiences with other vendors like yeah there's been a few that you know we don't click with or that are just not we just aren't vibing and mm-hmm. like that are just you know we're just not we're just not meant to work together but for the most part we really do work with awesome like other really awesome professionals that just like are easygoing and like if they're easygoing we're easygoing we're just having fun with the couple and yeah, like it's cool yeah that's we're that's not the most really aggressive love. people no well yeah we're easygoing you know what's sure. messed up is on our wedding day we uh, we got married in the city so we went over to the waterfront and, like did photos and all that mm-hmm. type of stuff and we went back um whatever cocktail hour i don't even i barely remember what happened <laughs> um and uh our photographer who was like lights out um never told i don't think he told jen but he actually left all his gear in the uber Ooh. by mistake including all of the footage <gasps> no. yeah and so like but he had like a camera or two on him yeah oh, with yeah. enough stuff to be able to shoot right and uh, so you don't want to you don't want to tell dude, the he bride was, that dude he was like cool as a cucumber yeah you know what i mean so and it was like my uber so he's like hey just gotta talk to you real quick you know, and we hit them up. The dude came back. Like, we gave the guy a couple wow. hundred bucks. It got all, yeah. Good for him, dude. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It's, it's, but just, I've like, seen steady photographers, hands, like, like, freak out. And yeah. I'm like, dude, relax. Like, this is their wedding day. Yeah. Right. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. That's really yeah. cool. They'll never know. Just know. make it right. Yeah. Yeah. There's no a way to. No one's going to know. Right. <laughs> no one's going to no know. No one's going to know. That was crazy. So. That is wild. I, Jen definitely knew. She was not happy. <laughs> it was, we figured it out, though. We got it back. Everything worked. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it all worked out. All right, cool. worked out in the end. You want to cool. close, close this out? Yeah, so we like to end. I don't know how far you listened to the podcast, <laughs> but the end lot. is we end with the, the same question every time. If you were to define your next 12 months in one word, what would the word be? Next 12 months? I would say growth. Hmm. That's a tough one. It's a tough um, one. Yeah. That's why we ask it. Yeah. It is right. called the word. <laughs> I just, Well, one word. Okay, I was going to say sentence. Um... <laughs> I think it's going to be different. I'll say different. Oh. So. Yeah. I th- Not in the sense of like moving or anything to a different state, but um, I think it'll just look a lot different than any other year we've had. Yeah. Why is yeah. that? Just because, um, I so as you know, we ha- we're a team of four now. So last year was different for us. We had our first employee working f- with us uh, full time. So now we have a second. And I've heard in a lot of circumstances, Seth, tell me if this is correct, that once you have two, it really skyrockets to look a lot different is that true i just think that um yeah it feels different right i I think it doesn't feel like smallish anymore i feel like it starts to feel like real and i'm I'm trying to like put myself back in the in the mental space i completely agree with that um i think just like at the end of the day leadership managerial skills employees all of it's a lot of work Mm. And I think a common trap that I've personally fallen into a lot is you, you hire, um, for, for this gap in your business for stuff that either you don't have the capacity to do, you don't like doing, like I try to hire that really fast, which, which was smart. Mm. The, the problem is you have to like teach them, you have to mentor them, you have to coach them, you have to hold them accountable. And the reality is you're, you're hiring these people because you don't have the time. Right. So when you then have to slow down to speed up to coach all these people, mm. which quite frankly, I just never did. It's just not who I am, right? So um, I always relied on either like hiring another employee to help to those people, that, you yeah. know what I mean? Or yeah. hiring, hiring a coach to, you know, it's like I just kept throwing money at problems and quite frankly, it wasn't the right thing. And yeah, here we are, you know, three and a half, four years later and we're finally slowing down. Part of that is market driven. Mm. The market's different now. Um, and just really starting to like institute the structure that I really should have two and a half years ago. Had I done it then, like God knows what the volume would have been that we would have done. Right. So I would say it, it gets, it's, it's very taxing mentally and emotionally to lead people and manage people. And so, you know, think about, you know, th- they have questions every single day and like, they're probably scared to ask you because, like you know what to do and they you hired them to do this work because you don't want to do it or you can't do it. And then when they ask you a question, it's 
Like, ah, I feel bad, ben, I'm at, ben, can you help me edit this? I don't know. And you're like, I could have just done this myself and I wouldn't have to talk to you. You know, it's like, it's this push and pull. And I mm. find that it's really, really difficult as an entrepreneur to, to get through that and mm. not respond like negatively in the moment when you're really stressed out and busy with 10 other things, right. which is why you hired mm. them in the first place. So I know that was a long rant. But, <laughs> no, um, no, that's very insightful. Yeah. But well, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, so. no, it's just yeah, hard. It's just hard. It's good. No, yeah. it is. It is. So that, I is mean, growth a part of the difference? So do your words connect? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, De- yeah definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it will be a time of growing. At first it was just going to, I told Meg, I'm like, it's just going to be me and you. We're going to grow. Yeah. We're going to be super luxury yeah. uh, uh, weddings and like real estate. And, and now I'm like, wait, that's not the best way to go. Cause yeah. we're we, limiting ourselves. We always ourselves. like, we, we try to like, you know, talk about our different ideas and then like bring it together. And then like, if we, we usually come to like, you know, either yes to this, no to this, like whatever, or we are, agree on like the same exact thing. But usually it's like, we just like hold on. I literally just lost my lost my train of thought. Oh, no. It happens to everybody. Happens. Yeah. yeah. What was I saying? You were yeah. talking about something. <laughs> something. How you guys get on the same page yeah. on like vision and how you know you different you may come to yeah. Those. So like it always like transforms into it. Usually ends up being something different than we thought at the mm-hmm. end. But like it's just cool to see like every year does look really different and it's always a little different than what we expected or what we like what we planned for ourselves because like every opportunity just like changes literally the trajectory of like our life. So it's really cool. Mm. You, yeah, you, cool. you said something that I thought was interesting and I'll see if I hit it right. It's like you, you thought about this vision of doing super luxury or whatever. Cause like that might be the most fun or most, most prestigious. Mm-hmm. And then like at the end of the day, man, you're just running a business. Mm. You're trying to make money and, and now you get employees to put on payroll right. or right. Like there's different, there's more at stake. Now, mm-hmm. right, and so then you start doing what works, yeah. And it's like maybe it's not what you love as much, but it's what you got to do, right? So it's like that push and pull, yeah. You know, um, and I think we have a good balance of that. Like we do good. the things that are like maybe not our favorite. Like there's certain like pigs, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's certain things where we're like, all right, you know, let's just get through this thing, and then you know we have another exciting thing coming up that we can look forward to. So we we try to balance yeah. it out and like we like to travel like you Brennan. Yeah. <laughs> and we try to do it like spaced out and sometimes it's obviously it's tiring if it's too close together but then we we love to travel so that's what we like to space it out with. Cool. Yeah. Love it. Sweet. Anything you guys want to cover that we didn't cover? I think we hit How a do lot. people find you guys on yeah. the oh. Insta and the other places in the World Wide Web? At Sojourner Media or sojourner.media on Instagram and our website is www.sojourner-media.com right yep yeah that's right um you'll see us on there you'll see we're updating our website soon so there will be four of us on there but there's only three right now but that's where you can find us and you can call ben because that's where i put his number on the website instead of mine so i don't have to do the talking smart Right. She does all the emails. I do all the phone calls. Yeah, I answer his texts too sometimes. FYI, <laughs> is that why he never gets back to me? No, the reason <laughs> he doesn't get back to you answer text, dude. is because like, he doesn't dude. have me with him. I don't know, man. I'm like just a weird. You person. need an I iPad know. with his with his know, login and just have it like you could be doing the text. Yeah, we True. we thought about like getting a second, nah, just just like business wise, because yeah. it's like, hey, are you Here's available? You this this Here's what you do. Let's say here. Let's end it. Okay. You're, you're gonna tell you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna tell gonna the listeners. Some, okay. I'm gonna give some business. All advice. right, give the business <laughs> advice to the listeners. <laughs> if I were you guys, you should start. And there's, I know you're gonna want to stray away from the blue bubble iMessage type thing, but there's two to three different platforms you can you can get. Um, one of them is called Call Rail. Okay, and for the agents out there or attorneys, it doesn't matter. You can get as uh, ten phone numbers. You can have dedicated lines. You can simul ring people. Okay, so someone will call your company line and it could ring your phone and his phone. It could only ring his phone. You can answer texts. You can do all this type of stuff, right? And so you basically digitize your phone number because scalability wise, like if you became the most popular videographer in the world, your phone's just going to blow up fucking forever. And at the end of the day, you're shooting content. You don't have time to answer those inquiries, right? So that's an option. It's cheap. It's like six. What is it called? Call Rail. Call Rail. Google call it. Rail. Um, so that's an option to digitize the phone system, right? So, um, that's a good option. You can also just go kind of more ghetto Google voice, yeah. right? That works too, but you can ring, you can do the same thing. You can simul ring like up to five lines or something. And then for booking, you should just use Calendly, at least yeah. for the, for the, for the real estate yeah. work. Because like 
that if you think about a contact, right? Hey, are you are you available? I know this is my available time. Oh, could you do this time? Uh, yeah, that should work for me. And then someone has to book it in your calendar, right? Whereas I could just click in real time, see your availability, mm -hmm. which right. you can set rules in. And then I could just click book. And then it says text confirms auto emails. Yeah. It's I spent an hour today with my assistant updating our Calendly game and yeah. like going through the rules, Perfect. like redoing the messaging and the automations on the booking of appointments. It's right. Highly recommended. Right. So Sweet. if I, if I had a quick term on a, on a video or something like that, like that, I, you know, I wanted to shoot something by the end of this week and I would see real time. Do you guys have the availability to do that without mm -hmm. paying you? It's just less that's, pings. That's great. Yeah. great price. Right. Yeah. I would do those two things. Yeah. I think it's like $15 a user that can integrate yeah. mu like multiple calendars yeah. all at the same it, time. It just reads wow. your calendar. Yeah. So your just calendar has to be tight. Yeah. Right. You know, or you're going to start getting bookings that you <laughs> yeah. can't meet, You know, so. Well, I actually time, like for this podcast, I literally on either side of it, I time block two hours. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm physically here. Because mm -hmm. there was one time where I was shooting content with you and I was almost late to record the podcast. Actually, uh, I think I was late. <laughs> <laughs> this is when we did the townhouses. So, anywho, uh, well, hey, listen, we really appreciate having you guys on. You guys were great, uh, and hopefully, the you'll get some a ton of followers on the gram from from this. But we appreciate all the tips and tricks around video for uh, for the for the people. Thanks, awesome. guys. For sure. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having yeah, us, guys. Great. That's it. Call it. So.